Hey, what is going on everyone? Before we get into today's video, I just want to point this out to you guys. There is a 4th of July sale. Happy 4th of July to everyone out there. 4th of July sale. Use code JULY4. Save 35% off on your purchase of 35 and more. Now let's roll the video. Hey, what is going on everyone? DJ TV here and today I'm going to be showing you guys my WWE Basics collection. I have a lot, you know, they've been sitting in my closet and I took them out. So this so you know, it's time to make the basic video. So we're just going to kick it off right here real quick. Here is my NXT Basics. We got the perfect 10 Ty Dillinger. We got CN Alamos. We got the glorious Bobby Roode. We got Authors of Pain, Razor, and Akum. Awesome, awesome basics. And especially from NXT, you got my favorite tag team, my favorite uh, glorious man, <laughs> the favorite perfect 10. And. I th you know, is it safe to say that he is, like, our Eddie Guerrero of this era? Well, not not technically like Eddie, but, you know, something like him. Like, he can be, you know, but all my favorite guys here. And, yeah, that's my NXT basics. All right, next I'm getting to show you is definitely a throwback for sure. These are the old WWE logos and basics. Wow. <laughs> Let's kick it off here. Eve from the Raw Super Show line. Series 11. Wow. <laughs> this is going way back. And I never found her in store. I forgot how I got this Eve. But I still got it to this day. I had her for a while now, actually. And I like it, man. It was like the only E figure that they ever made, right? What year? I'm trying to find a year when this one came out. Uh, 2012, maybe? Wow, six years ago. Holy crap. <laughs> but yeah, this Ryback. I remember going crazy looking for him. How awesome it was to find <clears throat> the first time in the line Ryback. And that Dean Ambrose. Wow. Uh... Do I remember the videos or anything? I just remember, like, when these came out, it was like, I want them so badly. And especially when they said first time in the line on them, you know, it was awesome. It was, like, special. And I loved it. And that's Dean Ambrose's first figure. <laughs> so that was cool. Man, finding these were amazing. Now, trying to find them, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> because they changed the details and articulation of basics big time. Like how much better they were. We had the WrestleMania Heritage Series, Daniel Bryan. This figure from this series was amazing. And especially the Kane and the Shawn Michaels. And you could say the Macho Man. But the Kane was awesome. I never had the Kane. But I've seen that person before. Uh, Hornswoggle. I think, if I can remember, I found this one in Times Square... Manhattan Toys R Us. Yeah. And I got like two of them. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's all I met Frank. Was for this guy. Yes, Hornswoggle. If I remember the video, I don't know if I made the video. I can't be wrong. But I was at the Times Square Toys R Us before they opened. And I got this Hornswoggle. It was so cool. First time I'm going to Cesaro. I remember everybody going crazy for the Cesaro. Man, I loved Cesaro. This was the original Cesaro that I loved. And of course, the great Kali. <laughs> Man, I wish we had an elite of the great Kali. You know how much fun that would have been? So yeah, those are my like 2012, 2011, maybe 13 uh, basics right there. That's pretty cool. Before we move on, I didn't show you guys one of the uh, throwback figures as well. And it's the first time in the line, Alicia Fox Basic. Now, these were the original Basics when it was kind of big. You know, the cardboard was huge. 
before they went to the smaller size. But yeah, this is the only figure I have like this, and it's Alicia Fox. Had this for a long time. I had that uh, Hugh Nico. I had it. I think I sold it or gave it away or something. I don't remember. But yeah, I got this Alicia Fox. All right, now we have these three. The reason why these are alone because these are when they changed from that to that. <laughs> and this was the last time we saw the old scratched logo before they moved it to the new one. So the first time in the line, Fandango. I remember everybody going crazy for this one. It was Fandango's first figure and it was amazing. I had one loose. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, I actually enjoyed basics once in my life. <laughs> but now I don't. Bray Wyatt. Yeah, the original Bray Wyatt, dude. I miss this Bray a lot. I loved it. I love his character. I still do. I'm still a huge fan of Bray Wyatt. And this is actually one of my favorite figures of him. Uncle Zed. WrestleMania Heritage Series. First time in the line as well. You know, anybody remember... This was WrestleMania New York, New Jersey, WrestleMania 29. Awesome days. Wow. <laughs> you guys remember this though? Mr. Perfect, Batista, Roman Orton, and Ryback. I think I had the Ryback. I had Batista and Mr. Perfect. But they're no longer here. But I still got Uncle Zeb in my collection to this day. It's pretty awesome. So we went from that to these. It was like a yellow mixed with blue type of color packaging and the debut of the new logo <laughs> so let's kick it off here first time in the line Sami Zayn first time in the line Neville this was awesome when it came out first time in the line Summer Rae one of the best AJ Lee's that was ever made it was amazing I still got it to this day definitely my favorite for sure here we got Charlotte Flair first time in the line Stephanie McMahon first time in the line uh, Nikki Bella, Brie Bella. They actually look great right there, you know? And first time in the line, Tyler Breeze. Look how awesome that was. I wish we, we would have got this in the Elite tire. But yeah, <laughs> those are awesome. I wish we would have got the Elite of this Neville. But what can you do, right? <laughs> so that's awesome. And I do have doubles. Uh, then I have another Sami Zayn here. I didn't realize. And I actually forgot Adam Rose, but I know a lot of you guys don't care about Adam Rose. That's why he's not here. But, you know, we'll just add him at the bottom somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, we got those. Uh, starting from what year now? Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> it's probably, like, right there in my face, but I'm not even seeing it. Um... I am not seeing the year. When did I start this? <laughs> you guys let me know down in the comments below when they started this stuff. The series right here. I'm going to say around like 2013 or 14. For sure. <laughs> but yeah. Look how... Man. I still like some of the women's. You know, when they were divas and whatnot. And I still have them. And that's pretty cool. And I'll especially find that Neville. I think I still have the videos. I have to like search for them now and rewatch me finding some basics, how amazing they were. Now, this is like the time where they started slowly becoming like, eh, you know, <laughs> like the Sami Zayn. I didn't care for it. The Neville was like the best one I found. Tyler Breeze was awesome. And, you know, the, the women's are, well, mostly made in basics form anyway. So the only way you could get them like that and i think that was aj lee's last basic anyway so awesome to have in the collection all right we're gonna run we're gonna run through these basics real quick because there's a whole bunch here to fit there so let's just run by it like these are the nows we got the aj styles another aj styles paul orndorff such a legend i actually like that figure the bonus, uh, Seamus. I actually like the head scan. That was cool. First time in the line, Austin Aries. Amazing. Finn Balor. Pretty much this was his first time in the line figure, right? They stopped doing that for a while. First time in the line, Kevin Owens. 
awesome first figure. Kalisto with the uh, bonus title. I remember finding that at Toys R Us a while while back. Pretty much first time the line, uh, Hideo Itami. Awesome, awesome. One of my favorites. First time the line, Corey Graves. First time the line, Carmella. Yes, I have a Carmella figure. It's the first time the line. It's her first figure, by the way. <laughs> first time the line, Becky Lynch. My favorite, man. I love Becky Lynch. And she's on the winning streak, dude. WWE, book her for a championship match. SummerSlam, please. <laughs> first time in the line, Nia Jax. Also one of my favorites. Uh, pretty much first time in the line, Dana Brooke here. She's pretty cool. Too bad. WWE, you know. Whatever. First time in the line, Bailey. Yeah, I love Bailey, man. She is gorgeous. First time in the line, Alexa Bliss. Another gorgeous one. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> nice, nice. First time in the line, Sasha. Oh, man, there goes that. <laughs> nice. I caught that on camera. That's awesome. But yeah, <laughs> Sasha Banks right there. That's pretty cool. And now, now, since I've shown that, the basics don't look like that no more. They look like this. White and black. The cardboard. And yeah, AJ Styles. It's the same one that I showed you down here. Legit the same one. So, yeah. So that's pretty much my basics collection there, guys. That's all I have left of basics. I'm not crazy about basics no more. Because they took away the articulation and everything. For example, right here. You can't turn the arm... Like how you used to. Where's where's the example? We'll use Fandango. You see the ball up there where you can like move his arm? Yeah, you can't do that <laughs> with this AJ Styles. Like if you were to make a custom, you can't take the hands. Well, you could take the hands off. But not the arm. And place it somewhere else. And even the ankles. They're stiffed. You can't move them up and down like you can with these. Well, they have like different boots on and whatnot, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thanks Mattel for ruining the basics. <laughs> it's not Bill's fault. He said he has no control of basics no more. But, uh, so he's pretty much focused on with elites. So yeah, that's my basics collection. Let me know down in the comments below. Who is your favorite basic? And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video. Subscribe. See you guys next time.